Welcome, fight fans, to the LFA Fight Network's presentation of the LFA number 178 preliminary bouts from the Kaiser Permanente Arena in Santa Cruz, California. Ron Kruk and Gilbert Melendez with the call. Let's get right to the only fans. Tale of the tape. Jacob Horton is only 22 years old, which makes him 14 young years younger than 36-year-old Wesley Alves. Horton, three inches taller and is two inches longer in the arms. Let's get the action rolling. We go inside the LFA Octagon. Here's Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on the LFA Fight Network on YouTube for LFA 178 preliminary action brought to you tonight by Bet Online and OnlyFans. And now to kick off preliminary action online, now we go scheduled for three five minute rounds in the LFA welterweight division brought to you tonight by OnlyFans where creators earn. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five foot 10, weighing in 169.6 pounds. Tonight, he is making his professional debut, representing Scrap Pack and Half Gracie Jiu Jitsu, fighting out of San Francisco, California, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Wesley Playmobil Elvis. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is American Jiu Jitsu style fighter standing six foot one, weight in 170.6 pounds. He holds a professional record zero and zero. This is his debut here tonight, representing AKA, fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, Jacob Honey Badger Horton. Your referee in charge of the action, Kane Vandal. Protect yourselves at all times. Follow my instructions. At the sound of the bell, come out ready to bang. Touch gloves or turn your corners. Cool. LFA, a Bantam weight action. A Jacob Hort Horton is making his pro debut, and so is Wesley Alves Gill, a guy you know all about, part of the scrap pack, and he has trained with you and your team. Give us some details on Wesley. Well, first of all, these guys are some good-sized welterweights. Now, Wesley is from Brazil and moved to America, training with the great Half Gracie, and you know Half Gracie's from the Gracie fighter familia. Him and Caesar Gracie are the ones who brought mixed martial arts or jujitsu to San Francisco. So anytime Half Gracie students want to come over and join us for some MMA training, I am happy to help. Absolutely. Gilbert Melendez doing the broadcast and some coaching tonight. Several of his fighters on as these two Bantamweights exchange. Jacob Horton fighting out of AKA. He has the great Cain Velasquez in his corner tonight. Yeah, it's so interesting nowadays, right? I'm a coach, Kane's a coach. Yes. It's, it's coming for a circle. All our students are coming, but all it's like a revival of all the old teams, and I love it. Me too, Gail. It's what it, these young athletes need, guys who have been there and done it like you and Kane. And it's so fun to see you guys get so passionate with your fighters. Absolutely, we do. And you know what kind of style of fighters we're breeding? I know the same type of guys Kane's developing is the same type I'm trying to develop. Those are aggressive people that are trying to fight, trying to conclude a fight. And that's our style. The Bay Area's always had that way. And, and uh, I'm happy to see this fight is already entertaining. Great to be back in Northern California for sure. Wesley Alves looking for a trip and a takedown. So far, Jacob Horton fending it off. Yeah, beautiful pattern. He has the body lock takedown here, trying to throw him forward, trying to stick to the process here. Oh, sets up a front headlock here. Very slick transition and an opportunity for Alves. I love seeing that. That was a wrestling body lock with the with the jujitsu front headlock guillotine attempt here. That's that's MMA. He's blending it together terrifically. Now, this is a crazy step for Wesley Alves. This is his first fight since May of 2014. Wow. I know that he is, he lives in the gym, basically, but Absolutely. this is the first time that he has been in. That was an amateur fight. He went 6-0 and oh as an amateur. But first fight in almost a decade. I love it. Doing a really good job of standing this body lock, but Horton himself doing a very good job of neutralizing it and, and staying on his feet. Though I think the aggressor is still Wesley. I believe he's winning here, doing the damage, attempting the body locks. Big escape for Horton. He needed to get out. And look in over to the corner of Jacob Horton and the great 
Former UFC heavyweight champ, Kane Velasquez in. Alves falls down, but connects. Alves has that old school Brazilian shoot box fight style. It reminds me, oh, look oh. at that big left hook. Oh, he wobbled him. He sure did. Horton, oh, legs are that? rubber. Another big shot from Alves. Whoa, these guys are throwing down. Six years old, Wesley Alves gets it done. Dropped Jacob Horton and then finished it in style. Could you have written a better script? What a better story for my guy. <laughs> oh, I love Look at this. this. Look at Let's this. go, baby. What a tank out there. I love that this. Great Just work. hanging. That was beautiful. <laughs> Jesse Alves comes over to Coach Melendez. Man, it makes you so proud to see someone have success. Someone who works hard in the gym. Yeah. He loves this stuff. He loves the sport. Him and his wife have an acai company in, oh, in San wow. Francisco. And the most My delicious favorite. acai. You know, and it just, I love the culture. Look at this big overhand right. Mrs. Barely continues another overhand right. Beautiful. Wow. Horton went down. You know, he was already wobbled a little bit earlier. But again, man, Wesley has that old style Brazilian mixed martial arts. Uh, reminds me of uh, Tiago Tarvez and, and Paulo Filo. Great. You know, those yes. guys, big Great heavy comparison, punches, man. takedowns, brutal on top. What a fight. Second degree black belt in BJJ. The Gracie family didn't need to use it tonight. Said, listen, <laughs> I'm going to take control and I'm going to get a KO in my LFA and pro debut. You know, I think Master Half Gracie is probably watching at home. And, and Half Gracie was a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guy, but he loved to bang as well, man. These Gracies, the Brazilian heart, they love to get in there and squabble as well, of course. They have the jujitsu, but they love it. Good news, Jacob Horton is back up on his feet. 14 years younger than Wesley Alves. 22-year-old Jacob Horton making his pro debut as well. Hey, he will bounce back. There's no doubt about it. He won a couple of amateur titles. And he's a guy to keep an eye on fighting out of AKA and under Cain Velasquez. But now, let's get the official time Back inside, here's Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Kane Vandal, calls a stop to this fight. Two minutes, 52 seconds in the first round, declaring a winner by knockout, Wesley Playmobil Alves. Wesley Alves, successful pro debut. I'm going to wrap it up because I think Coach Melendez wants to run in there and congratulate Wesley Alves, 36 years old, gets the win tonight. Well, the LFA interim light heavyweight strap is on the line when Kyrgyzstan's Uwan Saltabadiev meets Brazil's Bruno Assis. As usual, this card is loaded with top prospects. Here's a look. The LFA returns to Northern California with an international showcase at LFA 178. In the main event, the interim light heavyweight title is on the line. Uran Gorilla Sartobardiev has been dubbed the next big thing for the rapidly emerging MMA hotbed of Kyrgyzstan. And the Sambo experts showed the world why in his American soil debut last summer. But now, the decorated regional kingpin from Central Asia returns looking for LFA gold. He will face Bruno R.C. Six different nations are represented on the main card tonight in the interim, a light heavyweight title fight. 
matches up Kyrgyzstan athlete Uran Saltabadiev and Bruno Aziz from Brazil. As we check out the bet online of fight odds, scan the QR code on your screen for the current LFA odds, always courtesy of bet online, and get in on the action tonight. Gil, we look at the matchups tonight, some very interesting ones. Uh, is there a fight that you're looking forward to tonight? I'm looking at this co-main event between Jeff Creighton and Miguel Jacob. One training with uh, Dan Henderson in Temecula Valley yes. and the other one at King's MMA. You know, these guys are well-round mi mixed martial artists, but it's obvious Creighton leans on that wrestling and Jacob that Muay Thai is gonna sprawl and brawl. But both these guys love to exchange and, and get into the action and love to fight. And my goodness, Adam Wamsley, I know this guy against Jean Paul, you know, plus 700. My goodness, man, he's a, you know, he's live a tough dog. guy. A live dog, man. I mean, I think this is a closer matchup. I mean, big, big, big fan of Jean Paul, but I've seen Adam fight at 185 pounds before. So I'm excited for this matchup as well. Scan the QR code on the screen now. Sign up at Bet Online and be a part of the action here at LFA 178. Let's now move to our final LFA 178 preliminary bout here on the LFA Fight Network. Bantamweight matchup between Christian Giovanni and David Sorozano. The tail of the tape presented by Bet Online. Giovanni is 30 years old. Sorozano one year younger. Sorzano is four inches taller and will enjoy a two inch reach advantage. Both fighters made the contracted weight. We are set to go our final preliminary bout here at LFA number 178. Let's now get the official fighter introductions from the voice of the LFA, Mike Kendall. Fight fans, this contest is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the LFA Bands of White Division. Brought to you tonight by Bet Online, the official online sports book of the LFA. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This striker stands 5'10, weighed in 135.6 pounds. He holds a professional record five wins, one defeat, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Dragon House MMA, fighting out of San Francisco, California, David the Silent Killer Solo. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner. It's a boxer and jiu-jitsu style fighter standing five foot six. He weighed in 135.2 pounds. He holds a professional record, four wins, three defeats, with one win coming by way of knockout, one by way of submission. Representing NDA Stockton, fighting out of Stockton, California, Christian Giovanni. Your referee in charge of this match, Ed Calantes. Gentlemen, I expect a good, clean, professional fight. Touch gloves if you want to. Let's go. Good luck. LFA Bantam weight division action. Your favorite, according to Bet Online, David Sorlozano comes in at minus 140. Blue tape, red trunks. Christian Giovanni, the slight underdog at plus 110. Ron Kruk and Gilbert Melendez with your cage side here in Santa Cruz, California at the KP Arena. Yeah, David in that uh, conventional stance already using his range, trying to do big kicks to the body of Christian. Very smart, because we know Christian, NDA, Stockton, they love to box. But I'll tell you what, Christian had a long time off before he made his comeback here last time in Santa Cruz against Bogozo, who's a very, very tough right. opponent to take on your first fight back and did tremendous. So I'm excited to see him, you know, getting his groove back and to see what he does against a very tough David. Well said, he returning after five years away from the sport back in August. She said took on a very tough Alan Bogoso at LFA 165 lost a unanimous decision looking to bounce back here both these gentlemen showing some respect trying to fill each other out and 
So Lozano looking to bounce back from his first professional defeat, making his LFA a debut, but that loss snapped a six fight win streak. Went back to his amateur career, comes in tonight at five and one. Beautiful exchange by these two gentlemen. A three, two by David, and then Christian counters back with the catch and go, throws the two of his own. These guys are seasoned strikers, they know what they're doing. Find three knockouts for both these strikers. Giovanni has never been finished. All three of his losses are via decision, and two of those, Gil, coming via split decision. He's in every fight. Yeah, he's a tough fighter. He's a tough fighter, man. He's always in the fight. As you can see right now, he's having some success, both these gentlemen. Christian finding the chin. David finding the kicks. He's set in the center of the octagon. So far, these two want to keep the fight standing up. Oh, a nice shot from Solorzano as Giovanni came in and he follows it up with an inside leg kick. Yeah, Solorzano landed that uppercut. Throwing some really good combinations. Christian's able to counter at times. Sol Rosano is doing a great job of keep managing the distance and using those kicks and staying long. I think that's where he's at best. But I love that he's exploring the hands as well. He's not just stuck on the kicks. And this is high level fighting right here. Christian being a strong brick wall though, not flinching, no. taking everything and, you know, it's sometimes finding the chin right there. There's a little boxing action by both of them. It's nice punching his way in. A little bit of a level change to avoid the shot from Sol Rosano. Under two minutes to go. Final preliminary fight here at LFA 178. Make sure that you have signed up. The UFC Fight Pass, this main card is loaded. Very competitive close round. I think Giovanni's kind of landed a little bit on the chin, but Sol Rosano has landed some good kicks and a little more volume. It's it's anyone's round right now. If someone kind of picks it up and does something significant, a longer combination. No, I was just noticing here, Gil, look at the shin of Christian Giovanni. Look at the bump and the welt oh, that wow. is growing on the back leg. Oh my goodness. The left shin. Shh, don't tell anybody. Keep it low, okay? Just kidding. I'm just, I'm just playing here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, that is a really big talent notice. I didn't see that. I've experienced that. It hurts. That's a big welt on that shin. Now, really good, good catch by you, Ron. 45 seconds to go. Again, oh. Nice combination from Solorzano as Giovanni punching his way in. I like it, though. I like it. He's punching his way in and trying to make things happen. And Solorzano, he answers as well. And no one knows that Shin is hurt besides you, Ron, because Giovanni, he ain't flinching for nobody. Yeah, you wonder if Solorzano has even seen it. It just caught my eye. Our great guerrilla warfare production team. And there was one camera shot where it just was noticeable that that welt is growing. Now at the end of the round, Giovanni looking for that takedown. Solorzano able to maintain his balance. And we will go into round number two. Make sure you're following the LFA across all social media platforms at LFA Fighting. So here's some of that boxing from Giovanni we saw coming forward, punching his way in and he lands with those longer combination. Well, Sol Rosano staying in there as well, doing a great job landing those kicks. Big combination, long combination by Sol Rosano. Giovanni composed though, taking the punch as well, seeing everything in that pocket. These are talented strikers here. They're both doing a great job, very competitive fight. 29-year-old David Sol Rosano making his debut. 30-year-old Christian Giovanni looking to bounce back after he came up short in his LFA debut back in August. Ron Kruk and Gilbert Melendez with you tonight. 
back in Santa Cruz, California. Your backyard, my man. Oh, man, I love it out here. I'm an hour, 30 minutes up north max, hour 20 minutes in San Francisco, California. So much history here in this region, oh, Bay Area so history. True. Used to fight down the road, 30 minutes, SAP Center, HB Pavilion. Heck yes. Melendez versus Thompson. Covered many of those fights, my man, for Gracie inside. Gracie Fighter MMA. versus AKA. Oh, so fun. Always a great crowd in San Jose. Absolutely. Usually sold out, knowledgeable fans. It's so great to be back here as the LFA returns for a second time and hopefully a third later in the year. Hey, I like that. A little tease there. Yeah. You know, I think uh, David Solrozano is happy managing this distance, you know, and trying to pick him apart and and will say it wants to sail away with this type of fight. I think Giovanni, you know, he's going to do his best is when he kind of bites down on that mouthpiece and he's going to have to eat a little yeah. and take and give. But he's landing. He's landing on that chin when he goes. He blocks really well, too. It's just eating those kicks in the mm -hmm. body, knees in the body. Those are what kind of stop that forward pressure at times. And so far, Gil, you know better than I would, but at this point, it doesn't seem like that welt on the shin is bothering Giovanni that much. These guys got game faces, and if it bothers them, you're never going to find out, <laughs> and they'll never tell you. So true. But I've had a welt like that on my leg, and I'll tell you what, that, sh that, that, that hurt. Yeah, he'll feel it tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. Giovanni, a boxing background, grew up wrestling state, national, international level, competed in the U.S. and World Greco-Roman Championships in 2012. Wow. And on the other side, Solorzano started martial arts with Kung Fu and has just evolved his game as he comes in training at the Dragon House MMA. Comes in with a very impressive five and one record. Just past the three minute mark here in round two. If you haven't done so, Go over to UFCAfightpass.com. Sign up all LFA events air exclusively on UFC Fight Pass. Mm. Big punch for Giovanni Lands right there. He just has that whole Stockton and Diaz brother look to him as well. Giovanni. Couple of first round finishes. As I mentioned earlier, never been finished in his seven professional fights. Two minutes. Giovanni as he walks in. Yeah. Shuffle there and right back from Solorzano. Oh! <laughs> well, it's war out here. And this is the fight business. Hey, to break it to everybody. Take a little break to yeah, exchange pleasantries there. These two are going to take it up a notch. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Low kick from Solorzano. Nice counter by David Solorzano right there. Giovanni doing a great job of shelling up. Just want him yeah. to fire back and you know, give himself more of a chance. It's time to turn this into a little bit more of a chaotic fight. Solid defense from Giovanni. A lot of those shots from Solorzano not getting through. There's reset in the center of the octagon with under 30 seconds to go. There you go. Same thing. Set it up now. Set it up. Solorzano's corner liked that exchange from their fighter. Yeah, I think both corners have to be happy with what they're seeing. You know, mostly, hey, both guys are solid defense. Both guys are letting their hands go. 
You know, no one's really winning, no one's really losing. You yeah. know, it's just I, I think it's anyone's fight. You're it's right, anyone's Gil. fight, you know, and, and still up for grabs and it's just close. What would you like to see Giovanni do here in that this last round, Gil? Yeah, I think he's pressing forward and doing a great job of catching some punches. We just need to take a step out. But when you press forward and block, continue. Continue till you hit that chin. Continue yeah. a long combination. Block, go, block, go. Longer exchanges, longer in the phone booth. Beautiful counter to the two. Christian throws the two, he pulls back. David Solrano pulls back and throws the three, four, which lands that uppercut. Here they go, getting frustrated. The finger yeah, at each other. Double birds. Oh, it gets heated up right there. They both don't like each other. I'm not surprised. No. Rivalry man, Stockton, California, and San Francisco. We'll, we'll enter into this third and final round. How do you have this one scored, Gil? Uh, you know what? You know, I think it's even, 1-1 one -one going into this third round. I tell both my corners that, and, and let's let's see who could win this last round. I'll tell you what, though, NDA could come to San Francisco anytime. They get a pass, dude. They get a pass whenever they want. No Love problem it. with that. There we go. Got the invitation from the champ, Gilbert Melendez. LFA Bantam weight division. Solizano coming in with a five and one mark. Christian Giovanni, four and three, looking for his first win here in the Legacy Fighting Alliance Octagon. Yeah, Sol Rosano kind of switched the game up, did a long rear right knee. I, I think that's an intelligent adjustment right there. Threw a quick combination, but Christian, he took it and gave back and landed a strike. Just wanting to keep throwing, he's doing a great job, he's hitting that chin. Looks like Sol Rosano has opened up Giovanni a little bit. I think some blood flowing from either the nose or the mouth. See, Gio did a great job there, but took a step back. I want him to stay in there. High guard. Yeah, he has a very good high guard. You know, stay in there a little longer. There it is. It keep coming forward right there. Again, these NBA guys, man, they train to fight to the death, right? They go like 100%. 10, 12 rounds sometimes. Gio doesn't even look tired to me, you no, know? No. And either David looks in great shape as well. I'm not taking nothing away from him. But these paces, their their mindset is to a uh, long, slow death to some of these guys right here. And, and But we're short on time. We only have 15 minutes right here. That is true, Diaz brother style. There's no shocker in the fact that Christian Giovanni has never been finished. Right? Now, comes in, clinches up, has Solorzano up against the cage wall. Delivers a couple of solid knees right in front of us. We are gonna roll in hot to UFC Fight Pass right after this fight, beginning at the top of the hour. LFA number 178, interim light heavyweight title is on the line. We run Saltabadiev and Bruno Asis. Some business to finish here, halfway through the third and final round. Solorzano's corner saying use some more fakes and feints. A little bit of a cut under the eye of Solorzano showing the power of Giovanni. Busy month for the LFA. We will roll to several different events coming up. Back to Brazil. We've got a event in Louisville, Kentucky for the first time. Make sure you're following the LFA on social media platforms at LFA Fighting, and these two continue to trash talk each other. Oh yeah, I don't think this fight's gonna end ever. 
Oh, beautiful overhand by... Giovanni landed and it stunned Solorzano. Approaching a minute to go in the final round. Opportunity for Giovanni. Gotta go. Yes, has to go, has to go. Has to find that shot. Has to follow up, he's doing great. You can hear Giovanni's corner two screaming, let him go, you've got to go. 30 go, seconds to go. Right. He's landing when he lets him go. Most significant shot of the night was that big punch there. Yes. I don't know if it's enough to get him to win that round. Well, if you the know. judges had it 1-1, maybe it... It could, it could do it. Yeah. You know, it's a big fight. Most significant volume goes today, but he's throwing more speed. I don't know if they're landing. It's just big fight for Gio, man. Might have squeaked it out with that big rock right there. We will go to the judges' scorecards. Yes. There's the horn, literally the horn, the car horn uh, here. They, they turned it down a notch. It scared me. <laughs> it scared the, you know, scared the living out of me earlier. Nothing scares you, man. Yeah, startled me. Oh, there startled you go. Startled me, yes. right? A startled that's, movie. That's, that's well said. There you go. Well, David Solizano came in with a five and one record. But coming off his first professional defeat, looking to get a W in his LFA debut. And on the flip side, Christian Giovanni. I love it. After the trash talk and the fun, of course, they both show a sign of respect between these two warriors. LFA Bantam weight division. That's what makes this sport so cool. Again, right at the top of the hour, main card, LFA 178 will get rolling. Join us over on UFC Fight Pass. Get to UFCFightPass.com and sign up today. Mike Kendall is inside the octagon. Let's get the official decision. L ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges score this bout 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, David the Silent Killer Solozano. David Solozano bounces back from his first professional defeat and scores a win in his LFA debut. He improves his record to six and one. That's gonna wrap up the LFA 178 preliminary fights here on YouTube and the LFA a Fight Network main card going down in mere minutes on UFC Fight Pass. Get to UFCFightPass.com now and sign up. For my broadcast partners, Mike Kendall and Gilbert Melendez, I'm Ron Kruk. We'll see you over on UFC Fight Pass.